Afternoon, everybody. Okay. Well, certainly not the outcome we wanted, and uh, really disappointed. I did a I did a poor job with our team. Just uh, weren't ready. Didn't didn't. Uh, I mean, we wasted the first half. We just wasted the first half. Uh, let him run the ball on us. Turn the ball over. Uh, just. I mean, a 20 yard punt, missed assignments on, on uh, touchdowns and those kinds of things. Well, that's, that's my fault. So, second half, I thought our guys really fought and fought hard. We gave ourselves a chance to take the lead um, and couldn't even get it in from the one inch line. We're typically pretty good at that. And, uh, and then, you know, we, we had another chance and we went backwards on an option play and on fourth down, I faked a punt. Sure, shouldn't have done that. Wish I wouldn't have done that. Um, wish I'd just punted it down there and see if we could stop them and try to block a punt or something like that or get good field position, kick a field goal at the end. But, you know, we were desperate, desperate to win. We'd been down to the one yard line and didn't get it in. And, um, at that point, with three minutes and some change to go, I didn't know if we were going to get back. So I can, uh, you know, I can try to justify my mind, but I'm going to lose sleep for about the next six years. And uh, when, you, when you do things like that as a coach, it's remorseful. And uh, our guys were fighting. They, they tried hard in the second half, but we just wasted the first half. It was very, very poor performance. And, uh, it's our job to have them ready, and you know, we just didn't didn't execute. The turnovers were certainly hurtful, and uh, so we we got to do better. When you lose the turnover battle, you got a pretty good chance you're going to lose the game. Go ahead, Ken. And coach, again, the, the second half, of the team came out so strong. Two straight uh, drives down the field. Uh, Tiger Ty, 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 Tyler uh, converts both of them for touchdowns, and then you get the ball back. Um, and just, uh, you get it down to the six yard line, first and goal, and four tries at it. Uh, uh, was there something different on that series and maybe other series where you've been able to punch the ball in on the short yardage situations? Well, they got in the gaps and, and uh, kind of bottled up in there, but you know, as Brent Davis said, that's the same, that's the same play we ran to win the Commander in Chiefs trophy here two years ago and everybody was in the gaps and everybody standing at the line of scrimmage and we knocked them out of there and Jacoby got in and uh, we just didn't do that. We we had some chances on second and third down and uh, and we're just right there knocking on the door and we got to block them up and get it in there. And, uh, I mean, it, they give them credit, give their team credit. They, they bowed up when they needed to and made the stop and uh, and kept us from getting in the end zone. So, Coach, uh, your defense made a nice stop right after that, uh, forcing a punt. Uh, Terrell had a problem with the punt, but Brady Murphy recovered it. Uh, but then you, you go down, you couldn't uh, get that drive uh, completed. We couldn't. We got the ball and uh, got ourselves in position. That's where we're... We knew they would leave their defense on the field. We had prepared for that look to run a fake against that look. It's probably a little bit long. Maybe it says fourth and 11. We had a, our analytics was a go at fourth and 10. So I probably should just let our offense give it a whirl if I wanted to do that. Or punt it down there and see if we could pin them for field position and try to get them stopped. And we didn't do it. And, and, uh, and like I said, I, that's, I'm, I've got great remorse over that call, but uh, you know, we just—it was the—it was the it was the, uh, the third down call, and we were trying to run the option over to their bench, and uh, and they kind of ran us down from the inside out, and so we were—we just weren't able to get it started. Tire wasn't able to get it out there to the perimeter and get it pitched or or turn it up, and you know, we'd run that play play of times and. And uh, both got it pitched and had the quarterbacks turn it up, whether it was Tiger or Cade, and we just couldn't get it out there. So it went from second and seven to, to uh, or third and ten to, to uh, fourth and eleven. So we had a 
that was, I'm sorry, that was the loss. That was the, uh, that was the pitch play. So two, second and seven went to third and 10, and third and 10 went fourth and 11. So, like I said, just feeling the desperation. It's my job to coach the team. It's my job to put them in the best position. And, and that call probably didn't put them in the best position, but um, we we have we have many other things we've got to evaluate and look at and do better and um, have our guys prepared for and execute better. And if we do, then you know we're not down, we're not down seventeen to nothing at halftime, and uh, we missed an open receiver on a touchdown pass. We had, had the turnover right after that, where we pitched it and kind of was a little behind and a little high. And we had opportunities, just uh, just didn't, didn't execute. Just ask about uh, Jacoby Buchanan, who was back out there when he was questionable going in, uh, made a bunch of plays. Uh, how did you think he handled it? And also Tyson, Tyson had the fumble early on, but uh, uh, but played well. How do you feel all the V-backs did? I was really proud of Jacoby for playing. And uh, he's, he's hurt, uh, he's injured, and he's playing on it. Uh, our, our trainers did a great job, training staff, of, of helping him get ready. Uh, he didn't look like himself. He wasn't, uh, you know, didn't have that same explosive uh, power that, uh, that we've come to know out of him. But, uh, but he was hammering that ball in there pretty good, and he's low and he's hard to tackle because he is so big. I thought some of those other guys played really well. Tyson. Tyson ran the ball well. I was disappointed in the fumble. Um, we, uh, you know, just I, I, I don't think that you know, we did a great job with the fundamentals on the pocket there, and uh, and fell right out of the bottom. And we talked to him about it. I know he cares, but uh, he went back in there and played hard, ran hard, and uh, and then got banged up and didn't come in in the second half. But. I thought uh, Hayden Reed ran hard. I thought Markel Johnson ran hard. It was good to see those guys in there and uh, and, and contributing. And you know, we've seen Hayden and uh, been pleased with his progress. And that was really the first action for Markel, and I thought he did a good job. But there's, uh, you know, as we look at it, there's going to be some things uh, probably in the in the blocking game on the perimeter when the quarterback's carrying the ball that um, we can do better on. And it's just it's hard. It's hard to completely evaluate. A, a guy's performance and, and really our total performance without looking at the film, but um, I know they were playing hard and uh, disappointed we we had uh, those opportunities in the first half where we fumbled the ball because we moved the ball, we moved the ball down the field and then fumbled it and moved it again and fumbled it. And it wasn't a matter of uh, of not blocking the plays up and gaining yards. We we got to protect and take care of the ball. It's, it's the most important thing in the game. Thanks, coach. Sal or Seth? One question for Seth Mendelson, Black Knight Nation. Uh, came out at halftime. I, I, I'm guessing you think you still could win the game down 17. The team looked totally different. Well, we did believe. And that's what I appreciate about our guys. I think they always feel like they have a chance to win a football game. And we got down there, we were knocking on the door at the one inch line and couldn't get it in. We were going to go up 21 17. And then I think that probably would have got everybody's mojo going pretty good if we could have taken that lead. And we didn't. Um, and we made them punt. And then we turned around and couldn't do anything with it. Went backwards. And, uh, and that's when I tried to fake punt. And, you know, I said I've talked about that already. Did you ever think about field goal at 17 14? And we couldn't have kicked a field goal from there. It was, I mean, we had. No, a, were you at uh, the one inch line, the one yard line? Well, no. Okay. No, not for us. I mean, the. The play there for us is to bang it in for the one one inch line. That's what we do. Um, I mean, our our fourth down conversion rate on fourth and one is, I mean, I, it's probably in the ninety percent. So I can't think of very many times we had fourth and a full yard that we didn't make it, and we had fourth and the length of my hat to to get in, and we didn't we didn't get it in. But that's that's what we do there. So, uh, Coach uh, Stop from Black Bay Nation. I saw that uh, Will Jeffco and Aiden Gaines got some time in the second half. Uh, in, banged up on the offensive line still, or was that just get, giving those guys some some reps? We are. Um, we are injured. Boogie Law didn't play today. You know, he's a guy that started the season at tackle. Um, but not all of those guys are 
our little guy, you know, I, the only guy that that uh, started and played today that hasn't been in the training room and missed a practice since the last time he played was Jackson Flip Woods. So everybody else has missed practices and and uh, been nursing them back to health. But that's that's just part of it. It's part of it's not an excuse. It just is what it is. Um, so at right guard, we we kind of rotated uh, those three guys and. Uh, and, and felt like keeping those guys fresh and giving them a chance to play and that uh, you know we might get something collectively out of the out of the three guys there. The big plays at the end by Georgia State for two touchdowns, is that just good play calls by them or is that just you know the defense just kind of Well the uh, the touchdown throw was on third down. We had we had banged a timeout on first and on second down they had third and five. And so uh, you can play back and play off and let them throw a hitch right in front of you for five yards. I got one timeout left. They're going to run the clock out there. Um, you hope that you can uh, squat enough, uh, just just a little beyond the sticks that you could break up on a, on a three-step route and tackle them before they got the first down and be in position to be able to bail if there's a long throw like that and, and get back in position and that guy just ran by us, and uh, and he was he, he was he was he was rolling when he went by us, and uh, so you know our our guys were were trying to play the situation, and they threw it over our head and to their credit, and then uh, you know we couldn't do anything with it. We obviously went four on fourth down, had to at that point down ten points, and they simply just handed the ball off and, and we were trying to shoot guys up the field and be disruptive. Uh, we needed to create a turnover there. We didn't have any timeouts left. Um, so we needed to create a turnover there and, and we just, we didn't have anybody in the middle of the field. Everybody was in there trying to, knowing that they were gonna hand the ball off on the inside. And uh, we got double teamed in the gap where he ran it and, uh, and trying to bring edge pressure as well, trying to track the guy down, maybe cause a fumble from behind. We just stand anybody in the middle of the field. And uh, so we got another, another touchdown. That I guess you call that a cheap one. Uh, people call it a cheap score, but you know, they earned it. They blocked us up and, and ran it in there. So certainly disappointed. I don't think the final score is indicative of uh, the second half, but it was indicative of the first half. They can't. Need, to, need to get to the quarterback a little bit more today? Or? Uh, we would have liked to. Uh, you know, a couple of times we, we, we were dropping eight um, and, and really just trying to keep him contained and make him throw the ball. And you can only, you know, they can only hold those blocks for so long. And, uh, and we lost contain on one of those and he got a first down. And, and then there were other times where we tried, to, we tried to add some pressure. We tried to bring some guys and just didn't do a very good job getting to him. He, uh, you know, we, we got, I think we had a couple sacks. I don't know how many total. We, I, I remember getting to him a couple times and dropping him. But uh, you know, last year we, we got a lot of pressure on those guys and, and got them to the ground. Same calls and same, you know, a lot of the same guys and just didn't do as good a job this year. Yeah. Coach, uh, Staff Sergeant Jones from the First Infantry Division Public Affairs. Uh, Tough day today, but I wanted to, to turn it a little bit and ask about when you represent, like, kind of a when you rep, re, excuse me, represent a division, uh, two parts. What what really goes into choosing which division, and tell me a little bit about what it meant to you and your players to represent the Big Red one today. Well, we represent a different uh, a different unit each week, and it's a, just a tremendous sense of pride for our team for for all of us to be able to represent those men and women that serve. And uh, the Big Red One, obviously uh, a few years ago, we wore the Big Red One uniform in the Army Navy game. And it's incredible to, to be able to represent them in that way. And and I think, I think our guys just, uh, me included, all of us, um, to be able to represent an Army unit. We, we play for so much more than ourselves. And, uh, and that's, you know, that's part of the disappointment when we lose, um, is that we are representing those men and women in that unit. We are representing the men and women uh, of the United States Army. And, uh, and to, to not play uh, in a way that 
that represents them is, is a disappointment, but it, I can assure you that it's a, a just a great source of pride for us knowing that we've got uh, the, uh, the, the hundreds of thousands of men and women who serve in our United States Army and all of our veterans that, uh, that wear the same colors and the same uniform as us. Connor, just do one each on Zoom. Thank you, Joe, you can go. Yeah, as you mentioned, Coach Munkin, um, you know, group, big difference between the first half and second half today, even though the final score may not have been indicative of that. What do you think may have caused such a disparity? In, it looked like two completely different Army teams out there in the first half and the second half. I don't know if I can put my finger on it. Um, I think uh, I, it, certainly offensively, I think the turnovers made a difference in the first half. We had, we had moved the ball, and when we, when we pitched the ball on the ground down there, we we tried the the pass over the over the middle to uh, Isaiah and overthrew him a little bit. But we're, we're in field goal range. At least you know we're going to have a chance to to get some points there and to come away with nothing. Um, it wasn't as if we weren't moving the ball, but there was some there were some inconsistencies, and and uh, you know. That, that, those guys are on scholarship on the other side of the ball too, so they're going to play blocks, and and they did a good job of of, of making some stops, but a, a lot of it was self-inflicted, and we got to do a better job with the with the things we can control, um, and then defensively, just not being able to stop the run. Those guys were, gosh, it just seemed like that first drive. I think back to the first drive, they throw a ten yard out or a ten yard hitch and. And uh, it's first and ten at the thirty-five, and then they go, you know, hand off, hand off, hand off, hand off, and they're gashing us. And we got to be able to get off of blocks. We're playing gaps, uh, but we also got to get off of those blocks and those gaps and make the tackle. And and uh, they just they just kept rolling. So we did a better job with that in the second half than we did in the first. And got them to, to turn the ball over to us, whether it was a punt or a turnover or whatever it may be. And, uh, and on offense, we moved the ball. And we just really just challenged the guys and, and didn't do anything uh, earth shattering, just ran our plays and blocked them better and did a better job. So uh, did a better job until we got to the one inch line. And, uh, and we had, we, like I said, we had a chance on second down and on third down. I think, I think third down was a, was a, uh, a no gain as I look. That was the fourth quarter. Um, yeah, we had first and goal at the, at the three. We got it to the one. It was third and goal at the one. And uh, we probably gained half a yard. And then we had fourth and goal from, from just a few inches, like I said, the length of my hat. If we get that in there, I think that really changes the the, uh, the game. I mean, our guys get that momentum and, and just that that feeling of overcoming a 17-0 deficit at halftime and taking the lead and give uh, and give those guys from Georgia State credit. They uh, they made the stop when they needed to. Thanks, guys. You can wrap up. Hi, Jeff. Ken McMillan from the record. Uh, you've been here a long time with a positive and the uh, less positive seasons here. How difficult is this situation at one and three, injuries mounting and headed on the road? Oh, it's tough. Um, you know, <laughs> we love to not be one and three. That's not a great place to be, but season's not over. That's a, that's a third of the season. We still got two thirds of the season left, so a lot of football left to play. And I believe in this team and, and, uh, and we're going to keep fighting. We got, we got, we got 100 percent of those guys in that locker room are going to be army officers. They're going to have to lead soldiers, and they're going to have their backs to the wall sometimes, uh, and 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 in much more difficult circumstances than we're in right now. So, uh, I'm I'm confident that these guys will continue to fight and give us their best effort, and uh, we've got, certainly got a big challenge. We're going to, we're going to play uh, the the best team that we've played certainly so far this year. Um, Teams in top 25 to, to start the year and and, uh, and remains and and uh, you know one of the one of the really good football teams in the ACC in college football. Dave Clawson is an outstanding coach. Um, 
what they do on offense is, is unique. It's, it's much like what we do. It's, it's different than everybody else, and that, that gives them an edge. And so we're going to have to figure out how to, how to slow them down. And, uh, and then move the ball on them on offense. We did a did a good job of that last year against them, but uh, we got a new coordinator and a new defensive uh, new defensive staff, and so we'll uh, we'll have some challenges. And uh, hopefully, our guys will get healthy. Uh, that's that's uh, something we can't control, but hopefully they'll work hard and get in the training room. I know we got a great training staff, and they'll work hard to, to get those guys healthy and ready. And we're going to take our team down there with the intent to try to win a football game. And, and I think if we'll play the way we're capable of playing, we're going to give ourselves a great chance. If we don't, then we won't give ourselves a very good chance to win. That's it, everyone. Thank you. Thanks.